I already made a lot of calculations for you guys as my sincere apology for making this mistake. So I've calculated this for all the other anabolic steroids which are available in injectable form. Vigorous Steve here. Yesterday I made a video comparing Primabol and Masterone, which was very well received, so thank you guys so much for that. And there I compared 415 milligrams Primabolin to 361 milligrams Masterone, which at these exact dosages in milligrams would yield the same amount of molecules, being the methanolone molecules and the drostanolone molecules. Now in this calculation I counted for the difference in esters and also the difference in molecular weight because primabolin is methanolone enantate which has a lower percentage of active pharmaceutical ingredient compared to drostanolone propionate and primabolin also or methanolone also has a lower uh, molecular weight 0.7% less compared to drostanolone to be exact. Now when you take 450 milligrams primabolin or 361 milligrams masterone, you would get an equal amount of particles, allowing you to make an accurate um, comparison based on the results that you might get from these dosages. So that you can see if primabolin is better regarding uh, anabolism and the, the accrual of new muscle tissue, or masterone is better in this sense. Now, I based this on the avocados constant, but I made a little mistake in my calculation because the avocado's constant is a number of particles represented as one mole. And one mole is an amount of grams. The number of the avocado's constant was chosen to have a numerically equal amount of a chemical compound in grams to the average molecular weight of this same compound in Daltons. So when you look at the molecular weight of testosterone, for example, that is 288.420 Daltons. And then if you take one mole of testosterone itself without an ester attached, so basically testosterone suspension, and you would use the avocados constant to calculate the molar mass of testosterone, which is the exact same number as the molecular weight of testosterone, 288.42 grams per one mole, you would get 6.022140767 times 10 to the power 23, so that's 23 zeros, molecules of testosterone. But this is represented in grams. And what we want in these calculations is the amount of molecules in milligrams. So instead of using one mole being 6.022 rounded up, down slightly, or 602.2 sextillion molecules, we need to take 1,000 of a mole. So we don't get 602.2 sextillion molecules, we get 602.2 quintillion molecules, or 6.022 times 10 to the power 20, right? We take three zeros off because we need one thousandth of a mole to calculate an accurate dose that we would use in bodybuilding, a dose in milligrams, not in grams. I mean, who runs a gram of testosterone? Well, I have in the past the two grams of testosterone enantate, which is, how much percentage was that again? 72.9% actual testosterone, meaning that I would get, let's say, 1.5 grams of actual testosterone per week, which is a pretty high dose. But um, considering that I'm a little bit more conservative going forward, I would like to calculate the amount of milligrams um, that is equal to getting the same amount of molecules for each of the compounds. So my apologies that I made this uh, calculation mistake in the previous video. 450 milligrams primabolin and 361 milligrams masterone is not 602.2 sextillion molecules. It is 602.2 quintillion molecules. One thousandth of a mole or one thousandth of the avocados constant. Now, I already made a lot of calculations for you guys as my sincere apology for making this mistake. So I've calculated this for all the other anabolic steroids which are available in injectable form. So I'll put them on the screen so we can make a direct comparison going with 602.2 quintillion molecules of baldenone or dihydrobaldenone or drostanolone or methanolone or 
Nandrolone, testosterone, trestolone, trimbolone, as well as Winstrol, which is, right, it doesn't have an ester, but um, it's still a fun comparison because the molecular weight of stenazolol is um, very heavy, as we can see from the graphs. Now, I want you to understand that when we make comparisons on a milligram basis, because certain formulas have a different ester, right, which is a, l a larger or smaller percentage of the active pharmaceutical ingredient compared to the other compound that we want to compare it to. But the molecular weight is also different, which also means that the molar mass or one thousandth of the molar mass represented in milligrams um, changes quite a bit. So you can compare boldenone and desilinate to trembolone acetate, for example, for the same exact same amount of uh, molecules of boldenone and trembolone, we'd need 452 milligrams boldenone and desilinate to get the same amount of molecules as 313 milligrams trenbolone acetate. 313 milligrams tren ace versus 452 milligrams EQ. That's a big difference on a milligram basis but we get the exact same molecules. Now, let's say you were to run 450 milligrams train ACE and 450 milligrams uh, EQ. For that dose, you would get 50% more trembolone compared to boldenone. So this is something we all have to consider, even though on paper, let's say you go with 100 milligrams of this and 100 milligrams of that, in whatever combination you prefer, you might get 25% less molecules with one compound over the other, or 25% more, whoever, however you want to compare it. For example, a very popular combination of steroids during a cutting phase or contest prep is Masterone and Trin Ace in a one-to-one -one ratio based on milligrams. 225 milligrams Masterone and 225 milligrams Trin Ace, for example, or 350 milligrams, or even 750 milligrams Masterone and Trin Ace, which is already 1400 milligrams per week, plus whatever else um, we're running on top of that. So I hope in this scenario, you're a freak. Either way, if you decide to go with um, a one-to-one -one ratio like this, you have to account or keep in mind that drosanolone propionate and trembolone acetate yield different percentage of active pharmaceutical ingredients. Drosanolone propionate yields 84.4% drosanolone. <laughs> trembolone acetate yields 86.5% trembolone. So you already get a little bit more trembolone comparing these different esters. Now, when you look at the molecular weight, there's a huge discrepancy, 10% discrepancy. Drosanolone, one molecule of drosanolone weighs 304.47 daltons. And one molecule of trembolone weighs 270.37 daltons. It's a 10% difference. And with the difference in esters, you almost get 15% more trembolone if you inject both in a one-to-one -one ratio. So that's 15% more androgen receptor binding of trembolone compared to mastrone. Now, this one-to-one -one ratio has worked for many a bodybuilder or recreational gym rat. Um, so it's not something that you're, we're going to have to change. But if you truly want... Masterone or drosanolone and trembolone in a one to one ratio. And we're, we'll, we'll extrapolate from this uh, 602.2 quintillion uh, molecules. You would need to use 361 milligrams Masterone, drosanolone propionate, plus 313 milligrams trembolone acetate. That's a 15% difference, right? You're injecting 15% more milligrams of drosanolone propionate to get the same amount of molecules as 313 milligrams trembolone acetate. And that way you get the same amount of androgen receptor binding. I know it's a little bit, um, um, right, math overkill and uh, glorious calculations, but all these things we have to consider when we make direct comparisons of one steroid to the other one, because the esters might not be the same, the molecular weight might not be the same, I mean, when you compare Winstrol suspension, which has a molecular weight of 328.5 Daltons for one molecule, I mean, Winstrol is heavy AF, and you compare that to Trembolone suspension, right? Both are suspensions, Winstrol suspension versus Trembolone suspension for the exact same amount of molecules. 
270 milligrams trend suspension versus 329 milligrams Winstrol suspension. That's a 22% difference for the exact same amount of molecules. So you have two gym bros bragging about how much suspension they're using. And one guy says, I'm using a 329 milligrams Winstrol suspension per week. And the other guy says, ah, pff, you're using so much. I'm using 270 milligrams Trembolone suspension per week. Exact same amount of molecules. And let's be honest, the guy that's using Trembolone suspension, uh, he's probably going to be twice as strong. But let's be honest, running 270 milligrams of trend suspension will turn you into a freak. Certainly a lot more freaky than 330 milligrams of Winstrol. So we have to also account for the androgen receptor uh, um, binding affinity of all of these anabolic steroids and the individual response. Again, guys, my sincere apologies for miscalculating yesterday. Again, we have to go with one thousandth of a mole, not one mole, because we're not injecting grams of gear. So if you want to exact same amount of particles, which we'll probably use in future videos when we make direct comparisons of Tremblone to Mint, for example, or Boldenone to Nandrolone, right? All those popular comparisons are coming right up because you guys seem to like that previous video so much. And then we'll use one thousandth of a mole, 602.2 quintillion molecules to make direct comparisons and make it fair. So we can get um, right the same amount of molecules of boldenone and the same amount of molecules of nandrolone, and then recalculate that into the ester weight and the molecular weight and all the good stuff so we can make an, a fair comparison. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're looking for the most comprehensive guides to bodybuilding pharmacology, you can find the ebooks on my website, vigorousteve.com shop. Personalized advice, always available through consultations. Follow me on Instagram at vigorousteve. Front double bicep for the vigorous crew. May I remind you that Mole Day is coming up on Saturday, October 23rd of this year. A day to celebrate this uh, avocado's constant number of 6.0221407.6 times 10 to the power 23, a sextillion amount of molecules um, that allows you to take the number of the molecular weight and calculate the molar mass in grams per one mole. I'll leave it at that, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next video.